Okay, so if you guys are having the same problem like I did where my Asus Aurora was not turning on my Trident Z Skill RGB RAM, then I'll show you how to fix it quick. It's pretty easy. And this has worked for me so far. I mean, it might not work sometime in the future, but so far, like every time I turn off my computer, turn it back on, my RAM is still working. Turns on right when I start up the computer. Just like it used to, for some reason, something changed and it stopped doing that. I don't know if it's a Windows update or what, but if you want to enable that, all you have to do is go to your file explorer here, click on your C drive, and then we're going to go over to program data. Then you got to go down to Microsoft, and then after you go to Microsoft, you got to go down to Windows here, and then you go to your start menu. And then you go to programs, then you go to start up. So, as you can see, I already put my Aurora in here. You're probably going to have to do that. Mine both said that I needed administer, per, administrator permission to run them. And you'll probably see that again here. So, it's asking me. Just say continue, post it in there. And now you can close this out. And when you shut off your computer and turn it back on, your RAM should light up just like it used to. I don't know what the heck happened that stopped it from doing that, but I saw this post on Reddit quite a bit and I managed to figure out how to fix it, so I figured I'd do a quick video and everybody else could get theirs fixed too so they can enjoy their RGB RAM that they paid for. So thank you for watching. If you give this video a thumbs up, if it worked for you, any comments down below about any questions that you might have, just let me know. And then hopefully this video can get spread around so other people can get their RGB RAM working. See you guys in the next video.